Chancellor Wiener, Chairman Ibarra, President and Vice Chancellor Seppard, Dr. Figueres, distinguished guests, participants, and fellow students, families, and friends, I am pleased to address you today on behalf of the graduating students. The time has finally come to turn the page. Over the past three or four years, we invested countless hours, sacrificed sleep and hobbies, reconsidered life goals, and probably even reevaluated our sanity. We made new bonds, we discovered new things, not only about the world, but also about ourselves. We made late night study sessions fun, we built friendships that bettered us, we poured our hearts into essays in the libraries, we left our sweat and tears on lab benches, and we spent so much time at Concordia that it became our home. We have all worked hard, paving the ground on which our success is built and will continue to grow. For that, I congratulate each and every one of you, Concordia graduating class of 2015. Tonight, we must say goodbye to this intellectual haven. Tonight is a celebration of the accumulation and not the culmination of your achievements. When I first came to Concordia, I had no idea what I wanted from life. Uh, like a lot of others, my choice of program was some, somewhat of a fluke. The physics program didn't have a co-op program, so biochemistry it was. Well, maybe it wasn't that haphazardly. But like most other decisions that I wasn't sure of, I just tried to follow my heart and go with the flow. And going with the flow doesn't mean standing around and letting the waves toss you left and right. It means riding the waves, taking every opportunity as a new challenge and looking for meaning in all lessons, even the boring 8.45 a.m. class. <laughs> it means trying everything you can until you find out what fits you. What I learned is that success doesn't come easy, and it doesn't always stem from a concrete plan. It's not always quantifiable and not always accompanied by diploma. All of us have different goals and aspirations, but all of us have had challenges, and all of us have overcome challenges. Some of you may have serious doubts about whether you'll even put this degree to use. Some of you may have had to change majors, maybe completing a second degree, or might be working towards a second career altogether. It's important not to get lost in this feeling of uncertainty, but rather learn to embrace it. You've taken a risk, an initiative to see where this will lead, and I hope that you're all very proud of yourselves for that. I myself forget that the degree I'm obtaining is only the result of, but not the purpose of this journey. While it may fill a whole page, the challenges that we've overcome, the skills that we've gained, and the people that we've met at Concordia University fill an entire chapter in this book of, that is our lives. There is still and always will be more pages to write on and more room to grow. Tonight is a night to applaud the success of our camaraderie. It is over the past four years that I truly learned the value of my peers and my education. The environment at Concordia is very fitting to its name, as it fosters innovation through harmony and collaboration. It is important to appreciate all those who have helped you, but it's even more important as you go on with your lives to make the time to help others when they are in need. The peers who let you pick their brains and who toss ideas around with you those are the unofficial teachers of Concordia University, from which we learn things that we'll never be able to learn in a classroom or from a textbook. Tonight is also a night of reflection. A lot of us have become rather well-versed in the science of repeated failure. In my lab, we like to joke about how much more we could include in our resumes if journals would publish the experiments that we did that didn't work. But it's important to think about how much these failures have taught us. It's important to think about how much they allowed us to grow. By failing repeatedly, we have gained an invaluable skill. We've become critical thinkers. We are ready to tackle any problem that can be thrown at us. We are not afraid to ask for help when we need it. We are able to learn from our mistakes and embrace opportunities for change. As intellectuals, we have learned never to take anything for granted. Ce soir est aussi une soirée de remerciement. Il est important de remercier tous ceux et celles qui ont été là pour nous, qui nous ont soutenus et qui en sont restés à nos, à nos côtés durant nos études et nos vies. Nous devons prendre le temps de remercier nos parents, qui ont été nos premiers enseignants, et nos familles, qui ont joué un rôle essentiel dans le développement de notre caractère et de nos valeurs. Nous devons remercier nos amis, que nous avons peut-être négligés alors que nous étions occupés à rédiger des essais ou à étudier pour des examens. Ces amis qui nous comprennent, qui nous pardonnent et qui sont restés à nos côtés, sont importants pour notre bonheur. Il faut aussi remercier nos professeurs qui ont consacré leur vie au partage de leurs connaissances et qui ont fait de leur mieux pour assurer la croissance de notre scolarité. 
Do not forget to thank all of those who have ever been hard on you, all of those who have presented you with criticism. These are the people that really care. Those that neglect to tell you when you're doing something wrong or when you're not doing your best, don't have your best interests at heart. In all your future endeavors, endeavors, continue to surround yourself with people who are not afraid to challenge you and stay weary of those that discourage you. Continue to work hard and never stop before you are happy and satisfied with your work. Your thirst for knowledge is, has been, and will continue to be your best ally as you move on to face the challenges the world holds for you. I'd like to take this time to thank all those that have contributed to my attainment of this degree. My fellow lab members, Derek Flaherty, Chris Lisner, and William Kopp. My supervisor, Dr. Christopher Wilds, and Dr. Ann Narona for all their time and guidance. Ms. Lillian Jackson at the Science College for her faith and support in me. My parents, Suzanne Quintal and Antonio DiCenzo for their undivided love and support. And finally, all my fellow graduates for making this experience at Concordia educational, collaborative, and remarkably unique. Congratulations, class of 2015. Félicitations pour cette réussite bien méritée. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ms. DiCenzo for her energy, her illuminating remarks, and for a wonderful valedictorian speech. Thank you.